Hello, Farmer John here. I've got these capacitors charged up to 88 volts. Yep, there we go, 88.2. And I've been wondering how much current flows through a small piece of aluminum foil when this happens. And we can find an answer for that using a power supply and some simple math. You see, because capacitors can put out their current so fast, they can discharge so fast, the only thing that's really limiting the current when that happens is this, this simple equation here, that current equals voltage divided by resistance. Well, we know the voltage, 88.2, what we need to find is the resistance, and we can find the resistance using the power supply. So what I'm going to do is I've got it set to exactly one volt and I've got these two little pieces of aluminum aluminum I've cut two pieces of copper that are exactly the same as these literally cut out of the same wire and from the same cutting cutting tool this isn't super precise this is just to get a rough idea of how much current is flowing so I'm gonna put them about a half an inch apart just like how the capacitors are set up and then we'll see how much current flows maybe like this let's call that 7.5 amps at 1 volt all right that's quite a bit so we'll take our voltage 1 divide that by our current 7.5 for some reason current is i i don't know why i guess it would have just been too easy if all three of them made sense. And then when I do that equation, I get 0 0.133. So then we'll take the voltage of the capacitor bank, 88.2, divide that by the resistance that we now know, 0 0.133 ohms. And that gives us 663.16 ampere hours. Wow. That's a lot of current. Now I want to know how much power that is. That's pretty simple. We just take that 663.16, multiply that by the voltage, that is 88.2, and that gives 58,490.7 watt discharge. I gotta say, I knew it was going to be a really high number, but that's actually kind of exciting to me to know that this is a 60,000 watt discharge, or pretty near it. That's pretty awesome. So the next question to answer is, what would happen if I had these charged up to their rated voltage? That's right, I've only got these charged up to 88 volts, but each of these capacitors is rated at 71 volts. And being in series, that means that the effective rated voltage is actually 142 volts. So, uh, as you can see, I <laughs> don't do this. I was charging these up off uh, this 88 volt pack that I made out of 9 volt batteries. Well, I've got a whole bunch more over here, so I'll just put them in series until I get about as close as I can to 142 volts without going over. While I'm doing this, this would be a good time to explain that even though the current is very high and the amount of power is extremely high, the reason why that's able to come from something that was charged up by 9 volt batteries is because I'm taking a certain amount of energy and I'm releasing it in an extremely short amount of time. It's kind of like how if you take a glass and drop it from 6 feet onto a concrete floor, it's going to shatter. Whereas if you drop that same glass from six feet onto a bunch of pillows, it's probably going to be completely fine. And that's because you're starting off with the same amount of energy six feet up in the air. But the difference is that the energy is being absorbed much, uh, much faster by the concrete, fo concrete floor. And if it lands on a bunch of pillows, then it takes more time for that energy to be dissipated. Therefore, less damage is done. It's basically the same concept, but with electricity. out of the way you so that's 114 uh-huh 
143. I'm not going to risk it because I took these capacitors out of an old stereo that doesn't work anymore. So let's just stick with 133. Now we'll use the same equation as before with our voltage 133, divide that by our known resistance 0 0.133. That is actually like limitless threes, but uh, you know, we're not going to worry about that. And running those numbers, we get. 1,004.5 amps. Awesome. Of course I'm going to have to figure out how much power that is. So here's our equation for power, voltage times current. Voltage 133. Our current is 1,004.5. And running those numbers. 134,201 watts. So uh, obviously we're going to have to see what that looks like. There we go, 133.5. I think I'm going to put my safety glasses on for this one. So the first test is, can they still handle their rated voltage? Oops. Alright, no puffing, no smoke. Looks like it's okay. Let's see what it do, discharging at a thousand amps or so. Holy! That was loud! Wow! Let's do that again at a higher frame rate, 120 frames per second. That's violent. That's not going to be easy, but I'm going to try to get that at 480 frames per second. Unfortunately, I can only film at that frame rate for like a tenth of a second at a time, so it's extremely difficult to time it properly, but I'm going to do my best. First shot! Unreal! That's amazing! Well, I guess that's all I have for today. If there's anything specific you'd like to see in the future, let me know in the comments or any questions that you have. I'd really appreciate that. I hope you have a nice day. Thanks for watching.